So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make some money online by accepting credit card payments. We're going to do that via Donate Now and also Buy Now buttons in PayPal. So the first thing you want to do is go to paypal.com. In order to do this, you're going to need a business account or a premier account with PayPal. If you don't have one, just sign up there. I might create a video on that as well. And then you just log in as normal. Once you're logged in, you want to go to Merchant Services at the top. Then you want to go to accept payments, accept payments on your website. Now PayPal changes where the menus and things are all the time, but what you really want to be looking for is the thing that says website payments standard. So we click here, learn more about website payments standard, and then we scroll down and then you can go here, create a buy now button. So next you select a button type, buy now, donations, etc. They're very similar the way you do them. If you had a previous button that you created, you could go to my save buttons and then just duplicate an existing button. You type in your organization name or service and then donation ID. I'll just leave that blank. You're probably not going to need it. Then you can customize the text or appearance. You can use a standard PayPal donate button as you can see on the right. You can fiddle with these settings here, display credit card logos, use a smaller image, etc. Or if you want to make this button look a lot sexier, you click here, use your own button image, enter in your URL and it'll show up there. And actually, I've got a whole bunch of sexy looking images here that you can use. All you have to do to access these is go to drefficiency.com forward slash free and it's in the free section of my website. So next you select your currency as an example US dollars then you can make it so donors enter their own contribution amount or a fixed amount. There's only one fixed amount there. I'm going to show you in a second how to get around that as well. I'd leave that there. Use my secure merchant ID. Then you can save your button if you like which by default it is. Step three I would leave these radio buttons as they are. I would check this take customers to this URL when they're finished. So once they've completed the whole process they'll go to this URL I've got here. Thanks for donating. I actually wouldn't put any super important important information on this page because most of the time, about 50% of the time, once people are done, they don't bother going to the very, very last page. Then you click create button and then you get the code for your button. So you just click here, right click copy. So then you take this code and you put it in your WordPress page. I've got a WordPress page here called donate. I appreciate your support. Your money will help me upsize my Big Mac meals and create more great videos for you. <laughs> I put the HTML up here and then you paste in your code and then you click update. Now sometimes there's a slight problem in that if you click visual HTML, change some stuff here, and then go back to this section, it slightly alters the code. So what I would do is once you paste in the code, don't change anything else and just click update. Now when we go to drefficiency.com forward slash donate, and I hope you go there now as well, it now goes to this page and then people can enter the amount they wanna donate, as an example, five US dollars and click update totals. And then from here, they're donating to Dr. Efficiency and they have the ability to either use PayPal here on the right hand side, or if they don't have a PayPal account and they just wanna use their Visa, MasterCard, then they can click continue and then enter in their details as usual and click review donation and continue. So now I promised I was gonna show you another way where we could give people predefined amounts so you can't have predefined amounts with a donate button. So I'm gonna use a buy now button, leave this item name blank, and then here add a drop down box with price options. I'm gonna call the name of this drop down menu donate. So I'm gonna put option one, it just formats a bit better if you put a little dash and a space there. This one's gonna be $2, then option two be 10, and then option three, can be as an example 25 for the people that really really want to support you and then you can customize the text or appearance and in this case I'm going to use my own button image with this URL by the way once again you can get all of them at drefficiency.com forward slash free um, I don't want to use a their standard one right now because I want the button to say donate not buy now and you click create button right click and then copy the code then you get rid of your old form code that was there, paste in the new one and hit update. So this is what the new donate button looks like now. You can select two, 10 or $25. And if you can, I appreciate it. If you actually do go to a drefficiency.com forward slash donate and choose either of these three options to help me out. And also you can get an idea of what the entire process looks like for yourself as well from start to finish from the customer's point of view, which is quite important. And then from here, people either have a PayPal account or if they don't have one, they can click on this credit card section. They can enter either their Visa, MasterCard or Discover card there, enter all those details and click review and continue. So I hope that allows you to earn some more cash money from your website. Please hit the like button if you like this video or enter your comments below and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next video.